Hello and welcome to Worship on the Run for Sunday, February 6th. It is the fifth Sunday after Epiphany. Um, and our text for today has to do with Jesus coming down to the lake shore. So I thought it would be very fitting to come down to the lake shore. I will say, while I do enjoy the outdoors and you know, went to summer camp, uh, winter is not my favorite and it is a warm 12 degrees today uh, but I just love being near water even when it's frozen and love especially seeing the sunset on water even when it's frozen uh, so thank you for joining me on this worship on the run it's going to be like a bite-sized worship uh, for those of you that are on the go. Uh, our reading comes from Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Once, while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there on the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowd from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night long, but have caught nothing. Yet, if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fishes that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of fish they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of our Lord. Thanks be to God. In one of the resources that I look at for worship prep and sermon prep, it had this intro paragraph for this Sunday. The fifth Sunday after Epiphany continues to highlight unlikely instruments and circumstances appointed to reveal God's glory. Who will go for us? God asks. A person of unclean lips, a former persecutor of the church of God, and three fishermen who couldn't catch a thing. More surprising still, perhaps, is that we are also called. And I don't know why at this point I'm still surprised by anything God does, because God is always showing up in unexpected places and to unexpected people. But it really hit me that the people that seem the least likely to do God's work are exactly who God calls to do ministry and to do ministry in a variety of ways. Simon and his fellow fishermen didn't catch a thing that day. And they had just returned to the shore, were probably feeling defeated and exhausted after fishing all night and catching nothing. And Jesus walks up to them after they've already cleaned up their nets and asks them to try again. And they get so many fish that the weight of them is sinking their boats. It is in our everyday tasks where God meets us. No need for glitz or glamour. 
or when we decide it's time, God is there. God appeared, Jesus appeared to these disciples while they are doing what they do every day, fishing, working. And it's quite possible that they weren't the best of fishers um, or, you know, maybe everyone was struggling in that area looking for fish, but they didn't need to be the best fishermen in order to become followers of Jesus and to do God's ministry. No matter our struggles and flaws in our everyday lives, God continues to show up and continues to call us us to do God's ministry in this world together as community, as beloved children of God and a part of the body of Christ. Please join me in prayer. Most holy God, the earth is filled with your glory and before your angels and saints stand in awe. Widen our vision to see your power at work in the world, and by your grace, make us messengers of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Now join me in the benediction. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, my hands are so cold.